What is up guys, Tyler Casey here, and I have a brand new free pack for you guys. I'm really excited to share this with you. It's probably one of the best free packs we've ever made and that you could probably find online. So check out what I made with just using this free pack. So that's what you can create using this free pack and you're gonna get free 16 millimeter film effects uh, when you get this pack. So I'm gonna walk you through how to get it, how to download it, and how to import it. Uh, this should work on Adobe Premiere, Final Cut, and DaVinci Resolve. Uh, it definitely can work on other editors. You just have to try it out for yourself. It's free, so you don't really have anything to lose. I'm gonna walk you all the way through on how to download it because I always get comments saying that I'm a liar. So I'm gonna walk you guys through on how to actually download this pack. We do have the full version, which comes with over a hundred assets. This one only comes with four. You can definitely make a lot of nice things with just these four assets. If you want some more tools to play with, I would definitely recommend checking out our full version with the 16 millimeter film effects. There's a lot in there, over a hundred assets. There's a lot of unique assets in here that you don't see in a lot of other packs. And we included it all into one pack. So you don't have to buy the film burn separately. You don't have to buy the frame separately. You don't have to buy the hole punch transition separately. You don't have to buy the 16 millimeter film mat, things like this separately. All included, one pack, one price, lots of quality assets. So that's my little spiel on the 16 millimeter film effects pack. So I'm actually gonna dive into all the assets that are in the full pack later on in the video. So if you wanna skip ahead, I put timestamps down below. To get the free pack, you're gonna to wanna to head on over to our website, cinepacks.com. Then we're gonna go over to free packs and then you wanna find the pack that you want. We have tons of free packs that you guys can download and play with and use in your videos, but today I'm gonna to be grabbing that 16 millimeter pack. So we're just gonna to wanna to add that to our cart and then at checkout, make sure you type in the correct email. This is the most important step. Type in your email, put in your first and last name and then your billing address. You can put whatever here. If you wanna put your address, you can. We only need that if you're actually purchasing something to link to your credit card. If you are having trouble, make sure you don't have any paid packs in your cart. I always get messages of people saying that, oh, it's not working, and they have the full or paid version in your cart. So if you have a if you have a total over zero dollars and zero cents, you're doing it wrong. Unzip it using any unzipping software, whether you're on a Mac, you just double click. If you're on a PC, just extract it. So once you get the pack downloaded, this is what it's gonna come with. So we have a film burn right here. Uh, we have a frame. Um, I believe this is a transition. We have a sound effect and we have some grain. So you have a total of five assets and then you have you have a coupon code right here if you wanna get the full version. So to import these, uh, you just import them like regular footage. We're just gonna go ahead and drag these straight into Adobe Premiere. So looking at the assets, this is a film burn, um, super psychedelic. Then you have this 16 millimeter film mat and you get some cool text going along the sides there. Then we get this crazy hole punch transition real quick. Then we have a sound effect to accompany that. Very cool. And then we have some grain to uh, kind of spice up our footage a little bit. So I'm gonna bring some footage in here and then I'm gonna show you some cool, I'm gonna show you guys some quick tips and tricks on how to use it. All right, so I'm gonna grab some of this footage from a promo that we shot a while ago for our money effects. I'm gonna get this shot right here where we're kind of moving out. And I'm gonna have to scale it to frame size because we did shoot this in 5K. Um, all the scans are in 4K, so here's the sample pack. So first things first, we could easily just put this in a frame. And look at that, you instantly have a frame. So that's without the frame and that's with the frame. And then you'll see the text goes up on the side, very cool. If we want this to go a little bit longer, you can just hold alter option and you can duplicate it just like that. So really cool, we have the frame right there and the film burn. So let's say we wanna film burn in right at the beginning. Let's play it. To get that to overlay, we're just gonna come over to effects. We're gonna go to blending mode and we're gonna change that to, I think screen is our best bet. You can play with screen, you can play with linear dodge add. Um, that's a little too crazy, but you can really play with any of these and see what you like. Uh, I think I was kind of digging add. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, and you can really add this anywhere so it can play and you get a nice little film burn. It definitely works good as a transition. So let me grab another clip here. Let's grab like, um, let's say we're transitioning to her grabbing this money out of here and we'll transition to right to there. Put it right there in the middle. 
There we go. And let's see that happen. Yeah, so let's find when it's the brightest. We'll move this back a little bit. Cool, just like that. Easy enough to transition. Uh, lastly, let's go ahead and grab a, another clip here. Before we get to this asset right here, we can also use these grain. The grain is gonna take that digital edge off your footage and really just give it that filmatic look. Uh, it's gonna roughen up the, it's gonna roughen up your image and just make it look like it was shot on film. Uh, so to use this, we're just gonna change that blending mode to overlay. And now we have that gritty film look. If you did wanna duplicate it, if you want like a stronger film look, you could duplicate it and you would probably just wanna scale it up just a little bit. Um, if you want to make it extra gritty, you don't have to do that. That's just if you want it to look extra gritty, but uh, do whatever you like, play around with it, see what works best for you. So lastly, this transition here, um, we have a bunch of these in the pack. As you can see, this one's titled 19. Um, we can go ahead and we can change the blending mode. I kind of like difference, kind of like some of these weird ones and they're real quick. They're real quick and they have a nice quick little transition in between. You can play around with all the different blending modes and see what you like the best. If you like that, if you want it to be a black hole, you can do, um, there's, there's a lot that you can choose from. You can really play around with any of these and then you can use this film sound right underneath it. Um, we have a bunch of more sound effects in the full pack, but let's go ahead and play this. Works perfect, definitely sounds a lot better if you have some music under there. Um, you can always play with the sound effect as well. Like you can uh, pitch it down, up or down, or you can just slow it down with the rate stretch tool. Uh, that tool is somewhere over here. I just hit R on my keyboard and just helps out a little bit. So maybe if we added the film burn on top of that, that might look good too. Very cool. So that's what comes in the free pack. It's a great way to start. There's a lot you can play with. Let's dive in and take a quick look at what comes in the full pack because I really like the full pack assets and I wanna show you guys how cool they are and what you can really do with them. So the full pack comes with over a hundred assets for you to play with. Um, first up are these alpha transitions. So let me get these to load. So the cool thing about these ones is they're fully transparent. So if I put this over my footage right now, we don't have to do anything with the blending modes and it, automatically just cuts like that. Same with all these, so they're already transparent and you can do whatever you want with them. But the cool thing is, I'll show you guys, I'll show you guys how to use those in a really unique way in just a bit. Let's get, and then we have these sprocket ones, so it's a combination of a sprocket. Um, these ones are a little bit blue. We have all different types. Uh, that one kind of goes inverted. Uh, we have tons of film burns for you guys. Um, there's definitely some of my favorite film burns in all our packs in this pack right here. Um, they have some really nice texture. Let's take a look at these. Look at that right there. Very grainy, very nice. It's got like some crazy lines in it. This looks so good over any footage. So let's go ahead and overlay that. See how that looks. Not overlay. Let's go add. Let's see the difference between add and screen. I think I like add better actually. And let's watch that. Very nice. So there's a bunch of film burns for you guys. Uh, I think we have a total of 20 film burns in here. And then we have frames, which are really unique. We have a bunch of different uh, 16 millimeter frames. They're all transparent like the one uh, that we included in the free pack. Then we have some really unique frames that kind of incorporate the sprocket. And these have also grain on them as well. So if you use this, instead of that one. It'll be a little bit grainier. It'll ha already have some grain on it for you. This one looks really good if you use like a fisheye lens. I'll show an example of that. Um, I really like the look of that and it kind of works with the circular aspect. We also have like this triple circular one. Then we have like these uh, sprockets and some of these even have like quick ins and outs. So like it comes into the frame. Then we also have the looping version. So if you if I put this on loop, It'll just continue to play. There's a lot you can do with these. I really like this frame too. So we actually took the sprocket and turned it into a frame. Um, that's one of my favorites right there. It looks really cool. Um, so there's a lot of different frames and we have like some multi frames too. And there's a lot of way you can, there's a lot of ways you can customize these as well. So I'll dig into that as well. 
Uh, we have some more grain, so if you want to play with some different levels of grain, we have some grainier grain, some more subtle grain. Um, pretty self-explanatory on that. Uh, we have some overlays. So these are some of my favorites too that uh, are really unique. Let's go ahead and just go with nothing. And you just drag these on and you get cool film text. This was actually on the film. Um, so it is true to 16 millimeter film that these actually show up. Then we have some cool grunge overlays that you can use. Uh, those are transparent as well. Um, yeah, so there's lots of film code and you could obviously change the color of it and do whatever you want with that. Uh, then we have more hole, hole punch transitions like I showed originally. Um, these are similar to the ones where you uh, have to use the blending mode, but. So these ones you have to change the blending mode, but you can also get really unique effects. So like this one, if I do something like difference like we showed, um, really cool, really unique. Um, and yeah, there's even some with like sprockets in them, some crazy looks. I have them on loop right now, so that's why they look so crazy. Uh, they're real quick that you just put in between cuts like you would see in film. We have a good amount of sound effects in here that we custom made for each of these. And I'll show you guys how to do that in an edit as well and some ways to play around with that. So let's dive into the full pack. I'm gonna make a quick edit. I'm gonna show you guys some tips and tricks along the way. If you guys enjoy this or have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Uh, do you guys think I should make a separate video just for the free pack and not the paid pack? Or do you guys think it's nice having it in one video so you can kind of see what's in the free pack and what's in the paid pack? That's my thought process behind it, but never mind that. Let's get back to editing. So uh, first off, let's go to my favorite. Let's go to this, some of these frames. Um, these are pretty self-explanatory. Um, if they have the top and bottom like this one, so this one just has the top. So if you wanted to put the top, you just duplicate it and then you would just drag that right there. So you have the top of the video playing. And if it has the bottom, like uh, some of these, let's see if we have some of these with the bottom. So like this one has the top and bottom. So we would just line that up with the black line right there. And we would move this up and we would slide this one all the way down, line that up with the black line right there. And there you go. You have the 16 millimeter look just like that. That's like a full scan um, if you like that kind of look. And as you can see, we have a few more of those right here. So this frame is definitely one of my favorites. Uh, I actually have some fisheye footage. Uh, let's actually grab some grain though. Let's grab this really heavy grain. We'll just get it all set up. We'll change it to overlay. We can duplicate it a few times. Hold the alter option on the keyboard. Boom. And let's go to my footage. And I have this cool fisheye clip. Let's find a clip from a music video I shot. Cool. And it's already the perfect size. It's a fisheye clip, so let's see what works. Right there, All right, let's go a little bit bigger. And we have it just like that. So you can see it rotates around, and if you want it longer, you just simply have to duplicate it. One cool thing that you can do with these assets is you can change all of them. You can manipulate them. So um, you can come over to curves, and we could play around with the hue right here. And we could really pick any color that we want. So like, let's say we want like this purple. We can saturate it more too if we want. We can desaturate it. You can really do anything you want with it. I like this. Really cool effect. It looks good if you have the fish eye, especially if we did like a slow shutter speed blurry effect in there as well. That could look cool. Or even if this clip uh, was black and white. No, black and white. It would look pretty cool too. Um, so that's one cool thing that you can do. We also have another... Uh, frame in there as well. This one is like multiple. So you could do multiple fisheye shots um, in each one of them. Uh, pretty cool look right there. Then we have some of these. These are pretty cool. These have like little um, intros and outros to them. So this one you can see it starts in black and then it clicks in. Um, but then we also have the long loopable one. So this one you can just kind of line your person up with it and play it just like that, really cool. Then we have this frame. And like I said before, you can change the color of these as well. So I might saturate this one, oh, I'm clicked on the clip. I might saturate a little bit and then 
you can give it like a nice any color you want you could have like a nice outer green edge if you like that um and it kind of just has a nice little wiggle to it we also have these like multi-frame ones those are pretty easy but let's dig in these are these are all pretty self-explanatory the film burns already showed you how to use those one of the trickier ones are these alpha transitions and i'm going to show you how to use those how to transition in between clips so let's say we want to transition from this clip to this clip right so we have this hole punch and what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to make a cut right here and we're going to go to effects we're going to grab the track mat key and we're going to drag that right there we're going to change uh, we want to make sure we don't have any scaling or position or anything on here so i'm going to reset these i had that one scaled over then we're going to change that to video layer three so now you can see the hole punch is actually the next clip so if you're using hole punches throughout the video this can be really cool we can even like um, let's say we grab some of these hole punch transitions beforehand to kind of like warm up to it we can go difference we can go kind of warm up to it a little bit maybe I don't know what do you guys think so there's a bunch of these that you can use um, there's a bunch of hole punches and you can kind of like play around and see what you like best. You also have some that have like these sprockets on them and they kind of transition cool. So this one goes, watch, let's see what this does. So this one's a little bit, that's eh, the right length. So this one will go and it transitions to the new clip. Pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much how you use the alpha transitions. And lastly, we have a bunch of cool sound effects in there. Um, lastly, you can drag these and drop these in your timeline wherever you think sounds good. Um, and you can play around with the speed duration of them. And if they're a little bit too loud, you can always turn them down a little bit. Um, and they sound really good over music. So if you're editing a music video, this can add a little bit of depth to your music videos. So. If more people can find this video and if you guys leave a comment, it makes it easier for us to continue to make more free packs for you guys. We definitely love giving back and giving free packs away. So we plan on doing plenty more of those. If you guys do want to get the full pack, definitely check that out. Use promo code SAMPLE15. You'll get 15% off. I really like the full pack. I'll probably make some more videos using the full pack. But you can see all the crazy assets that are in there. I'm Tyler Casey with Cinepacks. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment down below. I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.